Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday, TGIF Friday, and forgive me, I'm actually going to put on, this is like a sample of this stuff. This is the brand of uh, shampoo and conditioner and body lotion that they have here at this hotel, and I have to tell you, I'm kind of obsessed with this. It smells like um, lemongrass. Well, I guess some of the ingredients are lemongrass, Oh, honey and organic chamomile. Is it chamomile or chamomile? Who cares? Anyway, it smells very good. And that's the other thing about this hotel is that the um, the shower here, I'll maybe give you a preview in a second. Um, the shower here is literally, like, I'm not a shower girl. I like to take a bath. I do take showers now more because, you know, quite often I'm working out two times a day and I don't have time to take a long, um, crazy bubble bath after each. Um, shot after each, after each, what am I trying to say? Workout. I, in my next house, I'm going to have a shower like this because not only, I don't know if it's just the intensity of how hot the water gets and it contains the steam and then it has the really big, so the actual shower head is like this big and so it's like a rain shower coming down. It's just, you turn this shower on and it's so hot and then it's like you're getting into a steam room. And I don't know about you guys, like I love going to the steam room at the gym, so there's that. But then it has the little step for you ladies when you're shaving your legs, you have a step so you can, you're actually shaving your legs like, mm, as opposed to like, ah. yeah, <laughs> it's very nice. So um, you might also hear a little noise back here. I'm brewing myself a little cup of coffee. Of course, I will say this, um, they bring you up these little Keurig and the only thing that was left right now was decaf, which pains me, but sometimes if you just need a cup of coffee, you'll deal. And as you know, I have my own this and this, which we're almost out of, so I'll be leaving this here. Um, but anyway, I just came up from some of the sessions here at Fitblogin, and um, I have a call and then a dinner to head to, so I realized I hadn't shot this vlog today and I thought I would shoot it and let you know a couple of things. Um, number one thing that I learned, because um, a lot of what we've been talking about is staying healthy on the road and, and you know, my tips and what I've learned and, and what I do and um, we're sharing that with this uh, campaign that we're doing uh, at Fit Influential with uh, National Car Rental. Is it National Car Rental or National Rental Car? I always screw it up. You know what I'm talking about with the green logo. Um, but anything, anyway, one of the things that I learned this trip that I'm gonna remember next time is if I wanna be doing my wonderful, and here's my obsessive compulsiveness cleaning up the counter while I'm here. Um, if, if, it was my toothpaste. Um, if I wanna do my yoga in the room, so you can see the carpet back there, it's just regular carpet and it's wonderfully padded, but I was slipping all over the place, I was trying to just do yoga without a mat. Um, it was not, it wasn't working because they were just, and then I'm like, maybe I should put socks on. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, I think my coffee's ready. And um, that didn't do it. Um, let me see, where's my spoon? Oh, rats. See, I kept certain utensils in here for certain things. <laughs> I look like a serial killer right now. Um, but sometimes, you know, I usually pack my own Gosh, I hope I didn't put my own spoon out on the tray. Um, because that's my spoon. I think I did. I think I gave them my crappy spoon. But that's what I, I always bring a spoon so that I can scoop out my coconut oil. Whatever. I'm getting off topic as usual. What was I saying? Um, so sometimes you just do this. You guys ask how much coconut oil I put in a cup of coffee. I, I don't measure it, but I would say for a cup that size, put in maybe that much not a lot and then I put in my you don't need a lot of cinnamon unless you want to choke to death that's about it and then we'll add a little bit of a little splash of cream after you let that coconut oil uh, melt what was the point I was making so I learned a lesson that I want to make sure I pack a yoga mat uh, for the future I hope there's one I mean I know I have a light one I wouldn't pack my manduka one but I have a light one at home that I think I got from Guy M, and that might do well. Because you know, you always have to think about when you're packing for travel. Again, like when I was gone for a whole week, I talked about my last video. You can't pack 
it would be ideal to pack you know a, a fresh top and a fresh bottom and a fresh bra and fresh socks and fresh not necessarily fresh shoes but for every single workout but if you're working out twice a day and you're gone for seven days that's 14 different sets of outfits you see why i carry two suitcases okay um but i'm hoping that i can start bringing my please be nice i'm hoping that i can start um bringing a yoga mat and it won't add too much to my luggage it should um, but that was one of the things I learned last night. Um, so instead of <sighs> last night, I was going to do, I'm definitely setting myself up to do the full 108 ultimate, 108 day ultimate yogi program where you do yoga every single day for 108 days. And I'm very excited about it. Um, but because I'm not officially starting it, um, while I'm here because with the carpet situation, I can't fully do the whole yoga thing. You might laugh, but I really have feet issues. In fact, I found out today in one of the sessions that was led by our friends at Reebok, um, I'm a supinator, right? So I knew I was a supinator. Most people are pronators where they have the issues of their, their feet going in. I have the issues with my, I have a very high arch and you guys know in yoga, it's been a problem where, you know, I tend to go this way, okay? So I was asking him in the session, I'm like, okay, here are these shoes for pronators. What about supinators? He's like, you're actually one of 5% of people that have supination. I'm like, hell, of course that doesn't surprise me at all. I'm here I am drinking my coffee with a fork. Can't even tell it's decaf. Oh, I can't even believe I'm drinking decaf. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a mistake. Um, so, learned that about the supination. Um, learned about the fact that I need to bring a yoga mat. But last night, instead of doing, you know, because like the next yoga DVD that was in the series that I thought I would um, do last night was uh, cardio. Um, yoga cardio, which was more like intense. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to slide all over the place. So I'm going to do the, um, that ballet body. Guys, I'm just going to tell you that ballet body workout is killer. And I don't know what it is. I just, I love, I don't know. I just, first of all, she has great legs. Um, just great definition, great quads and, 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 and the moves are, you just feel how intense they are and, and they're deceiving because if you're sitting and maybe previewing the video first and you're previewing the video and then you, you, you see it and, or excuse me, you're previewing the video and you're watching it, you might look at it and go, that's, you know, I've seen that stuff before. Let me tell you, when you do it, like the sweat was pouring off of me. Not so much like when I do a full turbo blast kind of a thing, it was definitely pouring off of me. And I just find that interesting in that, you know, you're not jumping around, you're not moving, you're not doing any plyo or, or any crazy kind of stuff, and yet you're working so hard and so intense that like I, I just couldn't believe I was soaking in, in my um, workout wear. So I gotta tell you, I'm so glad these two new things that I bought recently, the ballet body and then also the ultimate yogi, I love. And also, let me just put this out there. I may or may not have contacted somebody in that whole ultimate yogi situation and may have made a connection there. So you just might be seeing a little more about that in the future because I'm awesome. It's kind of weird to be talking to you guys with no music, but I wasn't about to go turn the music way out, out there. It wouldn't come in in here. And the reason I'm shooting this in here in the bathroom is, why is it? Oh, I just didn't feel like sitting down by my desk. My desk is messy and it's bright outside. And so there's really not many other spots in there. And I just, you know, once you find a position that works, you stick with it. That sounded inappropriate and I didn't mean for it to. So anyway, I am going to let you guys go because I have to hop on a call and then I have to, uh, head down. It's time for a new set, people. Um, but we are here for one more day. We have uh, a fit blogging sessions tomorrow. And I'm proud to say that I've been here since Monday and I have worked out two times every day since I've been here. So I'm kicking butt. Um, I've been able to see a lot of people um, that I wanted to see and I'll probably see some more tonight. So cheers to you. I will see you guys tomorrow. I do wonder. See you guys tomorrow.